funny story. I just got done filming about 10 minutes worth of content and realized that I am bored as shit watching that video. So if I'm bored as shit, then you would be bored too. Not only that, but I sounded like a really cheesy infomercial host. So rather than taking up 10 minutes of your time, I'm going to try hit the high points and go over my entire electrical system in probably three minutes or less. So where my update le left off last time was a really messy closet. As you can see, I have my wires routed fabulously, and I can now use my closet once again. Uh, this is the distribution system. We've got lights and outlets and the vent fan and all of that stuff going in there. This box, again, this is a marine box, so it's quite waterproof. And underneath it are my 6-volt batteries. They are wired in series through this cable right here. They are sealed, flooded, lead-acid batteries, 196 amp hours each, but since they are wired in series, the amp hours do not increase at all, just the voltage. So 6 and 6 makes this a 12-volt system. Again, we have my master on-off switch. When it is on, I can charge my batteries through the charging system, and the charging systems also have the capability of powering all of this. When this is off, I cannot use any of my electronics, nor can I charge my batteries. However, if the charging system is active and going, um, it will still power everything. So even though this is off, if I'm plugged into shore power, if I'm driving my van, or if I have enough sunlight, I can still power my electronics off of each one of those things individually. Here you see the outlet that is finished. Here is the other side of that outlet that is finished. Here you see my shore power plug-in spot. This is an electrical cord that would go to the back of my van, out the back of my van, and then plug into somebody's electrical outlet. This goes to my 12 volt charger, uh, my battery charger, and this goes to my refrigerator. So if I am parked somewhere, I can switch my refrigerator to over to 110 and use that electricity. So now, uh, just going to recover my electrical loads that are back here. So again, now everything is active. So I have these lights, these lights, these lights controlled through this switch. I have a new switch. I have new lights. I have another floodlight back here, which I plugged in for your viewing pleasure. It is all controlled through here. And I have this outlet right here. And the one above my bed and that back floodlight is through here. And so the one thing that you didn't see last time was the charging system. That is in this fancy box. This is my solar charge controller, and I don't actually have any solar panels right now, but I have all of the electronics wired in so that if I get them, should be mostly be plug and play. This monitors my batteries. It tells me I have 12.5 volts, which is okay but I could use a little bit of a charge and bump that up a little bit. This is a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter so even if I'm not plugged into somebody's 110 outlet I can still create 110 through my batteries through this inverter. Now what's so special about this box is that this lid is removable and it's like whoa I've got storage right there quite a bit of storage as you can see and then what about this well I probably can't do it with one hand the bottom easily air quotes lifts off and here is my charging system so I have three of them once again this is 110 shore power this is a 110 to 12 volt converter which then goes out on here and charges the battery or powers my loads this circuit card charge controller, once I get solar panels, they will come into here, which then goes out these two wires to this thing that I already talked about, 
and then back to the battery through these wires. And the third one right here is a wire coming from my truck battery slash alternator. When my battery is on, or when my van is turned on, this gets charged through the alternator. When my van is off, there is no connection. There is a solenoid wired in series. And that is exactly my entire electrical system. Now I left out, oh Jesus. I left out a ton of details because like I said, the last one that was 10 minutes long, long was mind numbingly boring. So, uh, I am one of those guys. If you want to know more about this system, if you need more details, please feel free to leave a comment below. I usually answer all of the constructive ones, all of the questions. I tend to ignore or answer like a smartass anything that is, you know, ridiculous or smartassy to me. Um, but for people that actually have real questions, I love to answer them. I also have a blog. Do you have a blog? Everybody has a blog. I have a blog and I have an email sign up. So if you would like to sign up below, that's the link and feel free to contact me that way. Uh, if you need more details, if you want me to make a video just for you, I probably won't. But if there's enough people that have the same questions, then I just might do it. But anyways, this one already turned into seven minutes, so I gotta get the fuck out of here.